Hello Libra! Thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Montero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle Cards, the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Already shuffled. Let's see what we have. This is interesting. Let's see what this is going to take us. Hmm. All right. There's a lot going on here in the end. Now, what? this feels like all the before, because I'm not seeing anything on your side or anything on the other side. There's a situation that you've been waiting for. It's been taking a long time to come to fruition. You've been waiting for it. You've been waiting for it and waiting for it, and then, like, I don't feel like there's a person, but I feel like the situation just comes to that part where the Knight of Wands shows up. Knight of Wands, not Wands, Swords. Like, you realize, like, the, like, the word comes that it's time to move things forward. You've been waiting for a long time, and it's time to move things forward. It finally comes in. I just, that's how we're starting off. And it seems like it's more about what's happening from there. When word comes forward, that's when everybody seems to be like, okay, now what do we do? Now, now, now how do we handle this? How do we move forward? Do we do this? Do we do that? Your side is the Ace of Pentacles. You've been waiting for this. You're like, I need this to happen. I'm ready for this to go. This is what I think should happen. I don't feel like I don't feel like you're overthinking it. I just feel like you kind of know, like you seem to have some structure behind you about, well, this now that it's here, this is what we should do with it. You seem to have a pre-existing thought or pre-existing experience where you know this is what should happen next. To you, it seems like second nature. Second nature to me. Like I don't feel like you have to. I don't feel like you have to hash it out a lot. You just seem to know this is what happens next. The other side is the five of cups. The other side is like really. They seem to be very nervous now that it's time to go forward. Now that it's time to pick this fruit. Whoever you're dealing with seems like very nervous about going forward. Like not not very sure of themselves is what I'm getting. They knew it was coming. They know it's a good thing, but they're just they, they they don't seem to have the confidence to move forward at this point. And I feel like that's a big kicker here. I feel like it's confidence. I feel like it's a big thing about confidence. Oddly enough, I know it's the five of cups, but I'm feeling it's a confidence thing. Like it's a good situation, but they're feeling like they might not have what it takes to make this work out. They might not have the skill set. You seem to go forward very fluently, very easily. You flow with it. You know. You seem to know what to do. You have structure behind you. This person seems to have a problem. They don't seem to be able to lock in or get their footing. And it's making them nervous is what I'm getting. Now, I feel like hopefully there's a conversation here where you, if they're not telling you, I hope you're able to unearth that because I feel like this is a big piece here. Because when it starts going forward and you're like, this is what needs to happen next, blah, blah, blah. Once you realize that this person or somebody you're dealing with doesn't just seems to have a lot of self-doubt, they need to be, it's like they need to catch up. It's almost like they need a tutor in school to help catch them up to where everybody else is. That's where this comes in. Between you and this person, the study card happens, and I'm getting, this is a burden. This is really hard for you, but this is a successful burden. This is kind of an investment in a sense. You've got to really help get this person up to speed, and it's taking you a bit to help get them up to speed. While this is happening, I get that they are evolving. They're trying to soak it in as much as possible. They're, they're really putting in that effort because they they don't like feeling like they're lacking. So they're doing their best to bring it forward. And they're, they're very, very, very invested in how you're helping them. And they, they need to move forward. And they want to move forward. The Queen of Swords in this situation is a lot of mental activity, a lot of absorbing, a lot of trying to put thought into action, like planning it out, putting the plan together making sure they know what they need to do, gaining that confidence. It's a very strong mindset. I do get what happens from this is really good because that's that needs to happen. I almost feel like you might be seeing this as like, well, if I knew this before, we could have done this before. But the fact that it's happening now, I'll deal with it now. Um, what I see resulting from this is a lot of abundance. This is time well spent with this person. 
and I'm getting all, all of this, like when you have the eight of pentacles here on your side, you put a lot into this situation. You put a lot into this person. You see a lot that is going to come from this situation. You've been waiting for this to come to fruition as it is. A lot invested here for you. A lot invested in the situation itself and now in this person, uh, if it wasn't as it was before. So you're seeing your payoff. You're seeing a lot come out of this. You're very happy with how this turns out. It was a lot of stress to get here, but it was worth it is what I'm getting. You're, you're seeing like this is worth it. This is worth the payoff that I'm getting from this. There's a lot of abundance, a lot of good things coming out of this situation because of it. Because of what you did for this person, you got the lover's card. They think you're the bee's knees, I guess is one way to put it. <laughs> you're the bee's knees. Every, this, they think you're great. They're very happy and thankful for what you did for them. They feel like a, a viable part of the situation now. They got what they wanted out of this situation. They're very happy. And I'm getting this really does come out very optimally. It's just getting through this bump. Um, and I'm getting like, you might have some nervous because this, this feels like you might be a little nervous here. It's a lot of stress because I feel like the reason there's a lot of stress here when this is going on is because you're kind of like, oh boy, is this going to cause problems in the sense of like, is this going to diminish the return? Is this going to be more of a problem? Am I going to just have to actually do more of this myself than I thought I was going to have to do? Is this going to work out? And you feel a little nervous about it is what I'm getting. Uh, whether you're sh showing that or not, I do feel like that's a factor. But it does seem to work out. And it does seem like you're investing in this person. I feel like what how you're investing in this does have a return yield later on down the road maybe more unexpectedly like this person is going to help you out later on it's just you may not be in a, be expecting it when that comes around again so this is going to be one of those things that returns a yield later on down the road so this is very very well worth it for you all right i do feel it as well so i feel like that's good i'm kind of shocked I don't know if I wonder if the air ones actually end up going quicker because it just seems like they flow very easily. It just kind of flows right out. So there we are. We got that set. I'll wrap that up here. Thank you for watching. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four Astral at gmail.com. Thank you.